This episode of Sonar Hacks will be dedicated to care team lists, how to maintain them, how to add patients to the list, and how to print off some useful handoff tools. So stay tuned in this episode of Sonar Hacks. Care teams, what are they? So care teams happen in oftentimes teaching centers where there's several groups of physicians that are looking after the same type of patients, let's say an internal medicine service where they admit many patients and there's more than one team looking after the internal medicine patients. So this is where care teams come in. This will be set up by the Cerner team when they come to your site. So to find the care teams, we go into patient overview here and here we have the patient overview. Currently I'm looking at the St. Paul's Hospital internal medicine CTU pink team. Let's say if I want to add another care team and I want to see what they're doing, we can go into the facilities here and we can add a, another care team. Let's go to St. Paul's Hospital and we'll find the other care team under internal medicine. So we select internal medicine and we can go into another care team. Let's add CTU Green and we'll save that. And now in the patient overview here, we can now see both CTU Green and CTU Pink. So at the present time, there's no patients in the CTU green. So how do we populate this list? Well, because the patients are admitted under the medical service, they won't automatically populate the CTU teams. So you'll have to search and find them yourselves. So let's go into patient list here. And here we've got a location list that we've created in the patient list part of it here. You can go to an earlier YouTube video that I have to create a patient list based on location. So here we have set up the uh, St. Paul's Hospital 7A and B. So we'll select that. It'll show you all the inpatients at the present time. So we'll go over here to select rows. We'll click on this. So now we'll just select the patients that we're interested in following. Let's say CTU patient 1, 3, and 5. We will now select add to list. And here we have the CTU green list. We're going to pretend that these patients are ours in CTU green. So now they have care team list and green. We will see one, three, and five here. These areas are blanked out because we haven't established a relationship yet for these patients. So we go over here again to the select rows button. We'll select all the patients because we are going to be looking after them and we can establish a relationship quite quickly. Um, we will select a consulting provider. We'll select all the patients you can see that we've established a relationship with all these people because they are no longer shaded out. They are solid blue. We can go into the patient's chart one by one by clicking the patient name. That'll get into the patient's chart. But before we do that, though, I'll show you how to get a summary of the patient. And to do this, we have to unselect the select rows button. And that brings you that back to this screen and you click on a blank space here, and this is called the iPass view. Well, you get a quick summary of the patient's visit. As you can see here, there's the allergies listed. The iPass view here will show you the illness severity, so that might be useful for you guys. Patient summary. Unfortunately, this is the only area where you can access the patient summary. You can't access it in the chart itself and it doesn't auto populate. So here you could have to cut and paste to get your patient summary in here, or you can type in a brief note. If we scroll down a bit further, you'll see the actions and situational awareness. This is pulled in from your patient's chart for team communications. The actions are your things to do list, the situational awareness and planning are notes to yourself that is not official documentation and they will not post into a SOAP note. So these are areas where you can remind yourselves and each other of things that are important to know about the patient. So at the top, we also have the clinical data area. This is for a quick view of the summary of the patient's current vitals and labs. Any current medications are all documented here, as well as the intake and output. Scrolling back up, we also have the care team folder up here, and this is where we can reassign the patient to other care teams. So when you select the plus button, you can assign a, a different care team. So you can again choose the care team that you want to assign the patient to. So I've seen the care teams also making group lists and handoff tools for each other so that when they're rounding on patients that they have a physical sheet that they can round on uh, with all that previous information in there. 
So we go into select patients and we'll select all of these patients here. We go off into the print section and we've got a simplified view, which I think only prints off the patient's name and location number. What we want here for the handoff tool is a detailed view. And because we're in a test area of Cerner, it does not show us any patient information, but what's generated is the physician handoff tool. And what this shows is where the patient's located, um, as well as the patient's demographics, the diagnosis that gets pulled in from when the patient came in, the patient summary, which is pulled in from the iPass view, allergies, their current medications, actions from the team communications, and situational awareness also from that same area. So this is a very good tool I see that the teams are using to round on patients. It summarizes the patient quite well so that when you're doing team rounding, it happens quite efficiently. Okay, let's close this window here and we'll enter a patient's chart. Here we are in a patient's chart. We'll go into the rounding section and within this is the team communication. These are the actions that get pulled into that printing documentation that I showed you, as well as the situational awareness. If we scroll down further on the screen, we will see care teams down here. So under the care team heading here, we can see that's under CTU green. If we click on this, we can replace this with CTU team yellow if we want, and we're training this patient. And so now that patient becomes a medicine CTU yellow team. So if we want to verify that, we can go into T CTU Team Yellow List, Manage Care Teams. We want St. Paul's Hospital, Internal Medicine, CTU Yellow List. Let's see if we can pull it down here, CTU Yellow. And here's that patient. Patient 1 is now assigned to Team Yellow, and it has fallen off the CTU Green List. Again, this is useful when you have multiple service groups looking after a group of internal medicine patients, or this could be for pediatric patients that you are looking after as in patients. So hopefully that helps. We'll see you on the next Sooner Hats.